Then for Gnosis, what is your business model? How are you making money out of all So this? with the core prediction market framework, we don't intend to make any money uh, just building this framework, uh, simply because this is just a set of smart contracts, basically, uh, that allow you to do create prediction markets on Ethereum itself. But um, if you actually want to create a sustainable business, then this is only possible if you can create the network effects around your business. And on Ethereum today, that's very difficult uh, to do because Ethereum itself is limited in terms of transaction capacity, number of users that can actually use your app, uh, and this prevents to create network effects that are re required to actually create a sustainable business model. That's why we actively decided against um, yeah, making use of GNO tokens just within this framework. And what we do instead is we try to build more efficient market mechanisms and, and technology that allows us to create um, yeah, more scalable prediction markets. Prediction markets where we can have mass adoption, where we can have a significant amount of users which allow us to create this required network effect. When people think prediction market equals sports betting, is that a correct framework to start thinking about it? Is that a very limited perspective? What's your take on it? So, it's not true that every sports betting is a prediction market. Mm -hmm. um, so, a market requires uh, or ideally, a prediction market has uh, gives everyone access to participate. And most sports betting websites, it's really one-sided. You have a bookmaker on the one side, and then everyone is trading against the bookmaker. But what we would like to have is like a marketplace yeah, where everyone can trade with everyone. So it's a peer-to-peer -peer marketplace. And that's not true for most sports betting websites. So you can definitely not say that every sports betting website is necessarily prediction market um, because essentially only the bookmakers making predictions and the others just have to take it. <laughs> uh, and there are however also examples uh, of prediction markets within sports betting like for example Betfair mm. is an example for peer-to-peer -peer marketplace um, and yeah so you can say that there are some there are some sports betting websites that are prediction markets, but I, we really don't want to uh, have a strong association with this because the scope of applications of prediction markets is much, much bigger. And we would just limit ourselves. We would always give this example because that's not, that might be something that is obvious for some people and might be easier to explain the concept, but we think that the applications go way beyond that yeah, it's all kind of financial applications, but also going beyond that in terms of governance. Yeah, you can use prediction markets also for governance. And we believe that those applications are much more interesting and we rather spend time explaining how they work uh, instead of always falling back to the sports betting example. You know, when you're valuing a particular cryptocurrency, they usually think a lot about total available market. Yeah. You, know, you think about if you can figure out the TAM, right? You, you can you can find out um, how big this project might become, how big of the market you can, you can penetrate. And like, I think the analogy is, I think for most people, they think that sports betting might be the area that's disrupted, but like you're, what you're saying is actually an X factor. Like you don't know how many uh, different areas will be disrupted by traditional markets. Absolutely, so you can always think about like, do I want to disrupt existing technology? or existing businesses, or do I want to create totally new businesses? And I think blockchain offers both. Yeah, you can try to use blockchain to disrupt existing businesses, but you also can create totally new, new ones. And we as Gnosis, we don't have the experience really to, uh, to disrupt existing businesses. We are mostly focusing on developing technology. So we rather try to use our technology for completely new things.